Greetings. What you see here is a UK departure board, uh, P5 size, that I just got in. There are a number of videos on the web about these things, but basically the short of it is they consume the different uh, national feeds in the UK and they create a board that ep that mimics the display that you would see if you were actually at a given station. Right now this one is currently set for the Holborn station central line eastbound uh, as an example. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on the boards and how you configure them and all the options because there's several other videos that already do that. Jeff Marshall has a good one where he talks about the little desktop version. What I wanted to talk about here, however, is an alternate method for powering and getting data to these things. The normal configuration is that you would connect this to Wi-Fi and power it via the uh, power brick that it comes with. And for a lot of people, that's actually probably just fine. Um, but there's a couple of drawbacks to that. First off, the unit uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi only, and that is highly oversaturated in many places. I happen to live in a dense urban environment, for example, and 60% of the 2.4 gigahertz um, spectrum is consumed just by beacon frames. So that's not even any data being sent. That's just all my neighbor's access points shouting out, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So 2.4 is basically unusable where I live. Devices get disconnected uh, or lose data, etc. Um, now, before I ordered this, I did contact them via email and asked them a few questions about if what I wanted to do was, would work. And they said yes. And they also said that if you add a 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi dongle to the unit, that it will work over 5 gig. But I, since I wanted to not have to use their power brick, as you can see, because it's not plugged in, um, I wanted to do this with power over Ethernet. And since I'm doing power over Ethernet, if I'm running Ethernet to it, well, can I run the device data over Ethernet and not have to worry about Wi-Fi at all? And the answer is yes, you can do that. And that's what I'm going to what I'm showing here. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on. So if we flip the board down, what you can see is you've got what appears to be basically a fairly standard P5 sized uh, LED board. These things are available uh, on Amazon and whatnot for just the display board and then you know you'd have to have your own controller to run the thing. And what they have done, what UK, the UK departure board folks have done, is they've got this um, Raspberry Pi, it's a Model 3B device, uh, which is running their operating system, running World Raspbian with their custom code. You can see the micro SD card there. And then they built a custom GPIO board that, as you can see, the power comes in to that board and then it distributes it back out to go and power not only the, the Raspberry Pi, but the LCD display itself. And then they have a 2x8 or 16 pin uh, IDC connector that goes to the board. And as you can see, the board, the different panels in the string are all using that 16 pin IDC connector to uh, drive the board. So, what I did is well, first off, when I talked to them, and I asked them about how much power does it use. What their response was is that it averages about, so I should, before I say, um, they're, they have this designed for five volts input. Um, and so volts times 
uh, amps is watts, right? So the display plus the pi on average is, they say, about one amp, and it can go up to about four amps. It's like you had the whole board lit up in white, which admittedly you probably wouldn't normally have. Um, but a more realistic, if you got really busy board, lots of colors going on, um, things like uh, problems at a station, etc., you might hit up to two and a half, three amps. And so what does two and a half, three amps mean? Well, three amps at five volts is 15 watts. And that is more than what power over ethernet supports. Power over ethernet is 15.4 watts at the source and about 12 watts usable at the powered device. So while under normal circumstances, this board would probably run just fine on PoE, the problem is that it can theoretically consume up to four watts, or sorry, four amps, 20 watts. And if we look at the, board, the power supply that they provide, it's actually rated for up to four amps at five volts output. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I searched for not just a PoE splitter, but for a PoE plus splitter. So, and that's what this is cost about ten dollars more than the PoE splitters. Uh, this one happens to be made by Wi-Fi Texas or Texas Wi-Fi. I forget uh, which way around the vendor's name is. And you've got Ethernet in, got Ethernet out obviously, and then you've got up to this particular unit supports up to four watts, or sorry, four amps um, out on a standard 2.1 millimeter power cable connector and that also happens to be the same connector that is used on their um, custom board that uh, they connect to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry. So 802 or POE plus or 802.113AT is rated for up to 30 amps at the source 25 ish usable at the destination. Like say this particular one is only rated itself though for 20 watts instead of 25 watts. But either way, um, it's good to power this board in its entirety. And it works just fine. And <clears throat> I have not configured any Wi-Fi at all on the Raspberry. In fact, I actually went in and I commented out the template stub that they had put in where they say, um, you know, put your SSID and password here uh, because I didn't want it trying to even query for an SSI, uh, for Wi-Fi um, in addition to running over the ethernet. And as we, you can see, works just fine, powered entirely by the board and getting all of its network connectivity via ethernet, no, Wi-Fi. So that makes it a lot easier to just to to hang the board. You know, problem with power is you got to have a power outlet nearby or run an extension cord. If you're trying to do a clean install, you can't really run power in the wall to one of these things. You can't, you know, by building code, electric code, you cannot embed this thing in the wall. So you'd have to like do punch through the wall, have the power supply on the opposite side of the wall. You could have, this is low voltage on the output side, so you could have that in the wall. But it's kind of messy. It's going to look messy on whatever the opposite side of the wall is. And it's much easier to just run Ethernet directly in the wall to wherever you need it. So you can have a really nice, clean installation. At any rate, I just wanted to do, to do the quick video showing that you can indeed run these things entirely off of power over Ethernet, uh, PoE+, plus, and that you can also feed them the data over the same Ethernet so you don't have to worry about reliability of Wi-Fi, especially on 2.4 gigahertz. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and thanks. Cheers.